So I'll just start by introducing myself again, just to make clarifications, because I know it's uh, uh, many people might know Travelocity, but they might uh, have never heard of Saber. Uh, so I'm actually uh, uh, part of Saber Travel Network, which is part of Saber Holding. And Saber Holding, uh, in general, is simply a comprehensive conduit of uh, connecting travel suppliers uh, with travel buyers. Uh, so Saber Holding has a lot of entities, and uh, uh, I'm part of Saber Travel Network. Uh, it's the biggest entity in Saber, and uh, it is what's known in the industry as the GDS, Global Distribution System. Uh, but uh, uh, over the years, the scope of Saber Holding changed, and uh, we have a lot of ways to connect uh, to uh, uh, travel buyers. Uh, in, in my world, in Saber Travel Network, primarily my travel buyers are travel agencies, agencies, corporations, uh, my suppliers are airlines, cruise lines, uh, hotels, but also uh, for Travelocity, for example, it's, it's my customer, but at the same time, Travelocity is part of Saber Holding, they actually connect directly to the end consumer and consume services from Saber Travel Network uh, in addition to suppliers. So just to give a framework of what Saber is, uh, I know many people don't know it in general, when I say I'm, part, I'm in Saber, they would usually say, Saber, so I would say, you know, it has Travelocity, then everybody uh, would know it. So uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, appreciate the invitation. Uh, just want, uh, I will go very fast. Uh, I thought I have a little bit more time, but it's fine. I will probably skip some material along the way. And uh, I, what I wanted to share with you today is, is a case study that uh, Saber collaborated with Travelocity over the last few years. And uh, several of these, as I go through, I will try to indicate uh, end up to be actually some solutions that today we provide to, uh, to travel uh, agencies in general. Um, a lot of the work started when I used to be in uh, about nine years working in Saber. Uh, I started my career in the research group where I was uh, doing a lot of algorithms and revenue management and pricing and uh, studying consumer behavior, then uh, moved to marketing. And uh, over the last five years, um, uh, you know, enjoyed working in product marketing. It gave me a lot of perspective, understanding the marketplace, bringing a lot of these solutions. Uh, but the research group is a critical entity for Saber. We work with, uh, we're, uh, uh, we're always known of bringing new solution, innovative solution to the travel industry uh, for suppliers or for uh, travel buyers. So with that, start a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, introducing a little bit the challenge. I'll go a little bit fast. So uh, Travelocity started around 1996 as the first online travel agency. Uh, so for a few years, they enjoyed uh, being the only OTA, as an abbreviation for online travel agency, uh, enjoying a full market share of the market, stealing a lot of market share from brick and mortar or offline travel agencies. But over the years, things have changed and some new challenges came. Uh, you know, of course, competition makes things harder. Uh, and they start stealing market share. Expedia, Orbitz coming to the marketplace with new business models. Expedia focusing on hotel, Orbitz focusing uh, on a lot on the web, private content. So uh, in addition to that, around 2000, 2001, a uh, lot of challenges in the industry, in general for the online industry started, and also some new changes a lot on the uh, supplier side or the airline side for, uh, for this case, you know, filing ba bankruptcy, having some challenges in the industry, changing a little bit the economics between uh, them and, uh, and uh, travel agencies. I think the most challenging industry is for many years, uh, um, Travelocity and a lot of online agency used to be known having a consignment model. They are not actually retailers. Uh, they would have a fixed commission as they sell tickets so, uh, or they sell advertising space. But over the years, these dynamics have changed. And uh, so Travelocity needed to change too. So um, moving a little bit. So for, for to work on this change, we really we tried to understand how we can transform Travelocity from what we call a consignment model to, re, to be really a true travel retailer. And travel retailers was a new concept in the industry, at least for our industry, for the travel industry. So we needed to understand our customers, uh, clearly understand the dynamic of uh, our suppliers, and also adapt to the changes uh, in the marketplace and their uh, uh, change uh, in their model. And you know, Travelocity sits in the middle, connecting both sides uh, from uh, to, uh, suppliers to end consumers. 
and behind the scenes, as I mentioned, consuming solutions and so on.